Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and you'll be forgiven for wondering why I'm showing you a, a clearly broken padlock with no shackle. Has it been cut off? Has it been snapped? What's gone on? And actually, it's not broken at all. It's a shackleless padlock. Um, there is actually no hole at all. It's not even a brass plug like there is here uh, for installing shackles. Nothing. Um, you can see that it's a, where's a pick? I must have a pick lying around somewhere. There you go. It's a standard uh, sprung uh, pull mechanism. There you go, that's that sprung. Um, but it doesn't have a shackle. It can't take a normal shackle, really. Um, so why would you want such a thing? Well, this is, from what I uh, can tell, a ladder lock, so a lock that a builder would use to secure a ladder at the end of the night, um, albeit not very securely. So you'd need a steel cable like this and with a loop on, a loop that is too big for a padlock to get through. Then on the other end of this uh, big long cable, which you will have secured your ladder with, is this end. And uh, you might actually notice that they're not the same cable. In fact, this is uh, a bike lock, but you know, <coughs> TV magic and all the rest of it. Oh, look, the other end of the cable. And what you do is you pass this through that. Let's do it this way. And then you would secure the lock thus. There you go. And uh, yes, it would be shimmable, but you're using a braided steel cable, which um, I'll relatively easy to get into. So how would I pick this? Well, I'm going to use a vice, actually, because um, the cables attached to this add some uh, weight and a lot of twisting uh, to the lock, which I'd rather just avoid, truthfully. So we're going to stick this in a vice. Don't normally uh, pick padlocks in a vice, do we? But um, yeah, just going to go with this one for now. And I'm going to use a combination of... Um, two picks and two wrenches, if I can find the pick that I just had in my hand, and I seem to have, oh, there it goes, yeah. So, the first thing we need to do is, move a bit closer, apply some tension to the lock, and first of all, I'm going to use bottom of the keyway tension, or away from pins. There we go. And I'm going to set a very high pin one, very, very high, using a Peterson's number one hook. And I think we've got it. Yep. Then go into the next pin. I think it's pin two. So just reset that's actually wasn't happy with that that's at all let's try again setting pin one is so high that it's very hard to do a uh, good positive click out so that one's good pin two a uh, nice positive click on that one too so just checking the pins seem to be loose now that's good and then what we're going to do is swap over tension to top of the keyway, pin side, and then get in there with a medium hook and avoid. So go to pin four, avoiding pin three. That's the trick to this one. and got an open. And you can see there that, can you hear that? It's a very graunchy lock. There's something a bit wrong with this um, core. Um, it came keyless, so I don't know the history of this one. Um, but yeah, something a little bit wrong with it. But there you go, and we can remove the um, end of the cable. There you go. So, interesting, um, let me lock that back up interesting and relatively hard pick actually it's definitely got a spool in it pin one was standard two was standard and for pin four because it's a five pin lock was a small spool 
Um, but there you go. So yes, the uh, Boss UK Shackleless Ladder Lock. Hope you found that interesting, and I'll see you next time.